Hello, everybody. This is Scott Hutzpath with Agent Mastermind. Thanks so much for joining us today. I have an amazing class planned for you today. But first, I want to uh, give my sincere condolences to the family and friends of Beverly Carter. Very, very sad um, situation for everybody involved. And uh, I just want to let you know that next week, we are going to do a safety course. We have Eric Sachs going to be on with us, who is an ex-cop. Um, and he's going to do, it just gives me chills even talking about it. So I sincerely, uh, my sincere condolences, I'm sure I speak for everybody uh, that's here, uh, sincere condolences to Beverly Carter and her family and friends, um, just nothing good there. So uh, with that being said, I, I do have to say that Beverly probably would want us to continue and do our best to help other people and have the life that we all dream, uh, you know, as, as far as our goals, dreams, and desires. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to share a class with you to help you continue your success, start your success, or whatever it may be. So I have a dear friend with me on the phone, Kenneth Travis. How you doing, brother? Man, I'm doing fantastic. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And also, we have another guest, Joe Hamilton, who's actually with Savvy Card, who's on the call with us today. How you doing, Joe? Oh, he might be on me right now. So, all right, Kenneth. Uh, you know what, dude? Let's. Uh, you've been sharing this. And, um, guys, for everybody that's on the call right now, this class is actually, if uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Kenneth, uh, this is CE approved in Texas right now. That's correct. Yeah, I CE okay. approved it, I guess, about, I don't know, a year ago. Okay. And uh, when I was first introduced to Savvy Card, man, I seen it, and I was like, man, this is really, really cool. Matter of fact, I was at one of our meetings in, uh, in Florida, and someone turned me on to it, and I just kind of ran with it and haven't looked back. And so it's been a real good uh, marketing That's cool. Tool. Oh. Excellent, excellent. And there's Joe. Joe, you there, buddy? That's a webcam. All right, so I'm going to mute him right now. So, so, so Kenneth is going to go through this class. Um, there's no CE credit today, but guys, uh, I, I've been playing around with this. Kenneth shared with me how he has shared this with his agents, and I thought, you know what? This is a shame that we haven't brought this out sooner. This is an amazing referral source for you guys, especially when it comes to business cards. So Kenneth, man, take it away, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this with you, but uh, I'll let you start it off, man. Sure, sure. Okay. So first and foremost, um, I use the I use it for my business. Okay. So for those on the call that may not know who I am, I'm a mortgage lender here in East Texas, uh, and I have a pretty successful mortgage company, and um, and have used this not only in my own personal business as a lender, I've also used it for my real my real estate partners uh, and realtors across the country, and I've shared this with them on how they can use it from a realtor's perspective in growing their business. And uh, one of the first things I always like to tell agents is, man, this is a free service, Scott. Like, this doesn't free cost service. anything. I know. To be able, yeah, to be able to have it. So it's uh, – um, now, with that said, just to be at full disclosure with everybody, you do have, like, the upgraded version where you can pay to get additional services. But, you know, that's how most apps are today. You know, they give you free, and then you start using it. Uh, you know, Ken, uh, I, um, and Joe's on the call with us. I don't know that there is a paid version yet um, that, that's, and, and unless oh. it's in your area, so with the M MLS. So okay. I, I don't know. Um, and, and unless you want some sort of design done, special design, and we're going to talk about that at the end. That's but, um, guys, yeah. this is, uh, like, when I said free, this is a, there's no catch here today. There's no affiliate link. There's no nothing. This is 100% for you guys, and I'm telling you, if you don't download this today, I personally think you're crazy. Um, and if you don't start sharing this with your friends, family, coworkers, clients, past clients, get this out there. Get it on their phone. I'm telling you, like if you're multitasking right now, this is the future. Everybody carries one of these, and what Kenneth's going to share with you today is just insane. So one of the um, – we're not replacing business cards, right, Scott? So, you know, we, you know, business cards, just traditional business cards that we order – uh, and that we carry around and we give out to our client and real estate partners and our you know our business associates and our fear of influence, we still continue to use those business cards for that. But man, the problem that I ran into is man, I don't always carry my business cards with me. Um, and sometimes I don't I like to do. give my business I card never do. but right. you never do. Well sometimes I, I like do. I'll put cards in my pocket, right? And they get all bent up and kinda of, man, at the end of the day, man, they have been through the dang car wash, you know, they're just they're in bad shape, and so I typically just throw them away and go get some fresh ones, but um, I'll tell a story that recently, that comes to mind that recently happened, um, probably earlier, probably late in the spring, uh, we were having a crawfish boil, and uh, I was sitting there eating crawfish, and I had a guy that was talking about, um, he, he was buying a house, and he was over a house, and he was getting ready to buy it, and uh, he said the only thing he needed was a mortgage lender. 
And I said, man, today's your lucky day. And he said, why is that? It's because I do mortgages for a living. That's my business. And he says, well, cool, man. And, of course, I didn't have a business card on me, but I had Savvy Card. And all it is, in a nutshell, is it is a electronic business card that just keeps, keeps on giving, you know. And so um, an electronic business card that you can give to somebody that stays on their phone for as long as they want to keep it on there. Right. And it's just a really cool thing to see. And so uh, some people may want to go ahead and go to SavvyCard.com just to see the website, you know, to kind of see what they're what they're looking at. Sure. Yeah, and but, I would uh, and I would wait till we're all done because we're going to cover a couple strategies, sure, a couple things that you know. I, I mean, you can go there anytime you want, but I would wait till we get through this stuff. And we have Joe, the expert, on the call with us. He's going to make sure Absolutely. that we don't miss anything. Um, he, he, I talked to him for ten minutes last night. It just literally blew my mind. So. Um, yeah. good stuff. Can we go to the next slide too? Yeah. Absolutely, buddy. I, I let me just uh, let me do that. There we go. Oh, there it is. Down there. I do have it. Okay. So there you go. So it's it's basically it's now now the thing that I like about it, so we're going to talk we're going to talk about it from a couple different perspectives for me. Okay. So what I like to do the way I like to utilize it in my business. Let's just talk about that real quick, and then we can talk about how there's other ways to use it as well. But let me just show you one way. That I like to use it in my business. So not only do I get to share it with you know with business associates and people, um, when you when you share this business card with somebody, it on their actual phone, Scott, it has a picture of me on their phone after I share this and add it to their phone. So that's what the end result is like. So think of any other app that you have that has a picture on there. Well, it has my picture on there. So the way that I use it in my business is, uh, or one of the ways I use it is. When I sit down to sign disclosures with my customers, at the end of that disclosure signing, I like to I like I actually ask them, "Hey, do you have your phone with you?" And they say, "Well, sure." And I say, "Pull your phone out for just a second. And um, I pull my phone out, and I actually basically share my savvy card with both of their phones, husband and wife. And I just reiterate to them, "Hey, listen. At any time during this transaction, you need anything, you let me know. You you can call me, you can text me, you can get in touch with me." I said, I have a great staff on board. They take care of everything from here, kind of give them our little rundown. And then what happened, and then they never call me because they don't hardly ever need anything, but, but they have me on their phone. But more importantly, I tell them now, at the end of this transaction, if you're happy, and I hope for you to be, uh, I want to show you guys um, how to refer me out. Would, if you're happy at the end of the transaction, would you, would you be willing to refer me out? And every time, they're like, oh, absolutely. I'd love to refer you out. And so I show them how to open up the app. I save it on their phone. I show them how to open it up and then share my contact information with any of their friends, family, coworkers, anybody that they, you know, know that might need mortgage financing in the future. And I said, just keep this on your phone. It's real easy to access me at any time. Okay. Yeah. Now, the great thing about it, Scott, man, this is what I love about it is whenever you share that contact, whenever you share that savvy card, if if they share that savvy card with, and this and this happens, man, like on a weekly basis for me. Okay, this happens all the time because I have clients and I also have realtor partners sharing my savvy card. Whenever your savvy card is shared, it sends you an email letting you know who shared your contact, who they shared it with if they put the, the name in there, and then any message with their phone number. Right. Okay, so let me get this so, right. For everybody that's not listed and you, and you accidentally went to SavvyCard.com and you're not listening, Guys, so check this out. So first off, here's here's what I got. One is their your face is on their phone. Correct. Two, if you when you meet with your clients, and I would highly recommend doing this. You, you know, the cool part about you setting the stage right from the beginning is that you work off referrals. You you ex almost expect referrals by the way you said that, but you said it in a very cool way. Hey, do you, would you mind if would you guys refer me if you're happy with the end end result, right? Exactly. Two, yep. Two, it, you're setting that what what we call a reticular activator, and this is a very, very, very powerful thing in sales. You're letting people know that you want to accept referrals, but you're also telling them right up front that you might be asking for referrals, and they're going to be thinking because when people are buying homes, when they're looking at homes, they're thinking, they're seeing every for sale sign, they're seeing, they're hearing every conversation on planet Earth that has to do with buying and selling homes. They literally are tuned into that. It's called a reticular activator. And so not only that, when you when somebody refers you from their savvy card on their phone, because Kenneth is on the, your phone or your picture will be on their phone, you get notified of who referred. So if you got 50 people 
that have your picture on their phone and they refer somebody to somebody else, you get notified of who referred it and who they referred so you have a name and number. Exactly. It's insane. That's and how exactly. many, how, what, it, more or less, how many do you get per month on something like that, Kenneth? I probably get four to six a month. On a monthly just basis. people sending your card to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, just sending my contact information. Yeah, and when I get the email, I forward it to one of my loan partners, and they uh, uh, immediately pick up the phone and, and start the pre-call process. But in, so in you the forward the email. Man, the, Unbelievable, man. Yeah, Unbelievable. The, yeah, I just forward okay. the email to one of my staff members, and uh, the pre-call <laughs> is immediately started. The realtor didn't wow. even have to call me a lot of times, you know. And then it also right. sends the uh, the realtor an email saying, "Hey, your uh, card's just been, or you just sent someone's card." You know, so it sends it back to them, so that you know it's it's a good reminder for them maybe to follow up or whatever. But uh, it's phenomenal. Well, so man. so, so okay. So I just thought of something. So you, as a mortgage professional, you have realtor partners, and you have you have their app on your phone. If you refer mm -hmm. a buyer to them, or maybe one of the client, you know, one of the clients. So can you refer somebody else's card? You absolutely can. Absolutely, absolutely. I've got about four or five realtors on my iPhone right now that I refer to on a pretty consistent basis mm -hmm. and um, a lot of you know not all the time but when it's convenient for me that's how I refer them out uh, what a cool way to the help them out so they get yeah, the email notification exactly. that you sent it who, who would send because yeah. they don't know if the person calls right that's one just one more way hey did you get their their business card right no their mobile business card oh let me send it to you you know what I'm saying exactly and I, and, I, and I tell agents a lot of times yeah, and it goes both ways because, like, you know, realtors, you know, they do refer business to their preferred lender, and then of course preferred lenders or lenders, you know, refer out their preferred agents as well. But have you ever noticed that we fall in? Hey, I had so and so call you, or or hey, I sent someone your name and phone number. Have they called you yet? Right. Man, cut that out. It makes it a lot easier to do it through the through the Savvy Card app, and then it's it's it, there's a trackability on both ends, right? And uh, it's just, and then it's, you know, it's real easy for you to pick up the phone, and then a lot of times I'll just pick up the phone if I haven't heard from the person, you know, within, a, you know, a reasonable amount of time, and we'll call them and go ahead and start the process. Sure. Um, so it's, uh, cool, man. and then of course you can get, yeah, and then there's other ways too that you can, like, once you get your savvy card set up, you can start yep. sharing it with the world. You know, it's insane what you can do. You can, you can post it on Facebook, and basically people just hit the link and they send it to themselves. So, you right know, on. you can promote it out on the social media sites, promote your business card, just say, hey, everybody, check out my Savvy card, um, and uh, you can encourage people to get their, to get theirs. You can get them for other businesses. You know, it's not just yep. for the real estate business. Yep. It's, uh, it's, for, it's for any industry. I've, uh, I've shared it with uh, a lot of my insurance partners, uh, my home inspectors, my pest inspectors. You follow me here? Because it's easier for me to refer them out that way through the phone because everybody has an iPhone, you know. You can Absolutely. email the link out to everyone in your database. So if you've got, you know, like me, I've got probably 2,000 email addresses in my database. Man, I can email right. out my savvy card to all 2,000 contacts and be on all of their, you know, on their phones that way. So you can hit people a couple different ways, text, email, uh, social media sites. Man, great way, something that I do on my, and you've seen my signature line, Scott. Uh, I have it on my every one of my emails. So when I send out an email, it's uh, it's my email signature, man. Everybody that I communicate with can just download it from my from just receiving emails from me. They can get it that way. Um, if you're well, you know, I'm just thinking somebody, about it. You know how we all text? I mean, he, he, here's just a here's just a me me thinking this out loud. You know how we text everybody all the time? Like that's just that's just what we do, right? That's how we communicate with our yeah. kids. A, why not put that as part of your signature line on your text? Exactly. Click yeah. here for your click. Click here for you know. I mean, I don't know. Just like one more way to get it out there. Remind people who you are, what you do for a living, and you might even buy a domain name like I don't know, maybe Scott Savvy Card or you know, my mobile business yeah. card or something that it's a domain name that takes them right to your Savvy Card. I mean, it's easy to do that. Just thinking out loud. You know what I mean? I you guys can hear exactly. Me? Yeah. Hey, hey, Joe, how you doing, buddy? Hey, it's going all right. How are you? Excellent, man. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate you being yeah. here. Yeah, I'm happy to. Uh, been listening uh, and wanted to add a, a couple quick points that I think are, are pretty important. Um, sure. One thing on on uh, on the savvy card, there's a button called the recommend button, and in that recommend button, you can put links uh, to the savvy cards, or even if they don't happen to have a savvy card, to the website of the people you recommend. 
So now when you text your savvy card to folks, that recommend button travels with it. So it's actually a way to passively generate referrals for, uh, for your partners as you market yourself. Whenever you send your savvy card around with that recommend button traveling, traveling with it, you know, they're, they're checking out your card, they're looking at your, your website, you're looking at your social media, they pop the record, you know, so I click on the recommend button and they can see all the people you recommend and have an instant inroad into them. So uh, as, as you get people with savvy cards working for each other and then marketing themselves, they're marketing you, then it becomes a nice little win-win where everybody can help. So there's a, so there's a recommend button that actually shows up uh, as well? That's, that, that, that's right, yeah. If you, if you want to check my card out, it's uh, SavvyCard.com slash Joe, and you'll see I have a recommend button on there with people. Okay, that one second. Time. Now, we're not going to show me anything that's not, that's not available, right? <laughs> uh, no, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's really Card.com forward slash Joe. Yeah. Joe, I did, I did hear about that, man, and, I, and, I, and even for me, man, being a, a user, I haven't set that up yet, but uh, I, I, did, I did like that a lot better because then it can put all of my referral partners under that recommendation tab. So that's uh, so. Uh, so what he has really done cool. here is you can add. Is it unlimited number of people that you can add to the recommend tab? Yep. Okay. Well, I, mean, I've never so, tested, I haven't never tested you know the top limit, but theoretically it's uh, it's unlimited. Sure. So this button shows up. What Joe's saying is this button shows up on your phone as part of your business card. You click on it, and then you have these people here. So if I click on this, it's gonna it's gonna go to. I mean, you just click refer that. So then you click uh, share. Is that how that yep, works? That's it. That's right. So that, do they have to have they have to have a savvy card though? Well, you, you don't have to have a savvy card to be in the recommend button. You can put a link to a website. You just would lose that share, okay, share okay. capability. So what, so what would happen is they would just click on that link and go to the website. It still interact with you know you're still making the lead happen. It's just not documented in the same way as if they were sharing Got it. A savvy card. Yeah, but the pr I gotta say the price is right though for everybody to have a savvy card. So you might as well you might as well get one. Other, the other really important. <laughs> The other really important distinction is, that, you know, when we throw the word app out there, there's there's what's called native apps, which are the ones you download from the iStore, you download from uh, your Play, Google Play Store, whatever, and then there's web apps. So Savvy Card is a very, very important distinction. Savvy Card is a web app, which means you can share it with anybody. They don't have to download anything. They don't have to sign up for anything to engage with it. I call it a one-way marketing tool. So it used to be they had things like Bump or whatever that were popular for a while, and you'd want to go, you meet somebody out at a networking event or at a party or whatever, and you want to share your contact info with them. You have, they'd have to have the app, you'd have to have the app, maybe start the app up or whatever. And obviously in business, when you're out meeting folks, you can't expect them to take a break from what they're doing and go download an app just so they can receive that information. Right on. The savvy card, exactly. savvy card is a web app. And anything with a web browser, whether it be a computer, whether it be if your refrigerator can get a web browser, you can use Savvy Card on your refrigerator. So anything that can get a website can use a Savvy Card and, and, and benefit from it. The other important thing about it being an app as opposed to a web app as opposed to a native app is that it's indexable by a search engine. Whereas native apps are not, so it's a great way SEO. to for SEO. That's right. So if you type in Tampa Home Inspector right now, there's a guy that, that we've been working with uh, here. Um, he's a, his, his he pays thousands of dollars a month to do SEO on his website. The number one result for Tampa Home Inspector here in Tampa is a savvy card, and his website that he pays thousands thousands of dollars a month for is like number seven or eight. You type in Clearwater number one. Mortgage. Yeah, yeah, his is number one. In, so you type in Clearwater Mortgage Expert. And you get, I think he's they're one or two for a savvy card. So point being is you're getting savvy cards ranking for top, you know, in the top of search results for decent keywords. I mean, Tampa Home Inspector is not a bad keyword if you're a home inspector, and they're and right. number one with the savvy card. Dude, is that and crazy, more, Kenneth? Did you even know that about SEO? That, that, I'm just no, well, no, uh, no, I didn't. No, they, they've been <laughs> they've been developing this. They, they've been developing this for, for. They've been working on it. I know. I've talked to a couple of the guys up there, and they're Amazing. like, hey, man, this is coming out, and Amazing. it's crazy. Here's a, here's a question from Lori. I appreciate you being here, Lori. Lori says, if I send my mortgage partner's savvy card to a contact, who gets the notification? So the, the, owner. the owner of the SEV, so the mortgage, the, your mortgage partner would get the, the notification. That's the answer so to that one. If, um, if, and do you want me to give an example of that? Yes. Um, yeah, so if, if, the, if the mortgage, if your, uh, your mortgage uh, person's name was Bob, and uh, your friend's name is, is Janet, and say, if I sent Bob's card to Janet and said, Janet, I know you need to get a mortgage, you gotta work with Bob, he's the best. So I sent uh, Bob's card to Janet, and Bob would get an email that said, Joe just emailed your savvy card or texted to Janet, here's her number. If I included a little message, it would include that message. Hey Janet, great to see you at the, at the, at the lunch the other day. 
Uh, as I mentioned, Bob uh, is a great world up. Uh, I've passed your information to him, and he's going to get in touch with you. So now Bob knows that I made the referral. Instead of just you know saying, hey, I passed your card to someone, he knows I made the referral. He knows when it happened. He knows the, what the context was. It's Joe referring to Janet that he saw at the luncheon, and now he can, Bob can reach out to Janet and make that, you know, make do business with her. And that, including the information, is optional. So if you decide that you want to refer someone, but you don't want the recipient, you don't want Bob to know Janet's info, there's just a little checkbox you can do when you do uh, share by text or share by email that says don't include the recipient's contact information. That way you can protect the privacy of the person who receives the lead or receives the referral. And Bob will know. Bob will still get that email that says Joe just emailed your savvy card or texted your savvy card. It just won't say who it went to. So you still kind of get credit for giving the referral, but you're respecting, you know, the anonymity and the privacy of the person to let them reach out to Bob if they feel like it or not. So, yeah, so, which, so, so explain this right here. So explain, uh, Kenneth. Do you use this right here? Do you use this uh, send yeah. card owner, the recipient yeah. contact? Do you check that box every time? Uh, most of the time I do. But Joe brings up a good point because there are some instances where realtor or the where the client that they're referring doesn't want to be contacted they are, they want to be the one to contact the the, sure. the refer you know the the lender or whatever so in those cases yes we'll use that on both sides even on okay. my end sometimes if i need to refer out a client and they're saying well uh, just send me their contact information don't have her call me i'll call her then in those Got situations it. So you just we'll uncheck that box then yeah. absolutely yep okay and then would you ever uncheck this box It's either or. I mean, I mean it's, you could, it's, it's, but I'll, yeah, I always do. I always include a message with them every time. Okay, okay. And then once so you click, once, the, once you choose, the, the only really choice you have to make right here is send card owner or not. That's it, right? Yep. And then okay. uh, as far as Bob's concerned, it's nice to receive the email, get the instant notification of the lead, but maybe right. you can't follow up on it right now. You just want to save a bunch of emails from all the leads that Savvy Card is generating. Once you're logged in on the back end, it's got a social media style uh, back end. There's a there's a button that says card analytics, and on the in that of those card analytics, it lists every share of your card ever. So yep. if you know if a share if a share happened a month ago and you want to go back and review it, there's going to be a whole list that acts as a little mini uh, customer relationship database essentially, so that you can review all your shares, pull the phone number off there, um, and and contact these people or review how they met, read the message or whatever you need to do. And, wh and where was that? Where's that at again? Where do I find out how many times or where it's been shared? Oh, card it's analytics, card. right here, right yeah. here. All right. So it, sh it shows the actual the how many shares, total views, and it shows who it went to. Like so, the sharer who shared it. So and then it showed um, the date, the card sharer, the card recipient, and the share message. And if you mouse over the Blake's name there. Yep. Or, so you didn't share their mouse over Vicky's name. Well, you didn't share. Try Scott there. Yeah. So because you had unchecked, because you didn't want to make that information public in the first two, it's an info not shared. But if you share the info, then you can see it's right there, so that uh, you can follow up with Scott or well, you know, you, yourself. But you can uh, yep. you, you have the number there, and then you would have the message if they put the message. Amazing, dude. That's awesome. You guys, you guys getting the whole mindset behind this? So like, you were 100% notified. Yeah. One way or another, you might have all the information, or you might like. So, when one of your clients, I mean, I, Kenneth and I were doing the numbers on this, and Kenneth, remember, wait, I, I said fifty people. If fifty people have, and guys, we we all have more than fifty people. You can use this on your website. I mean, it's a link, so people can click on it and go to it on their phone. I mean, however, there's a QR code. I mean, there's so many ways to get this to your clients. But if you only had fifty people that had your mobile card, savvy card, on their phone, and if they only shared it once per year, once per year, that's 50 leads, right? Cut it in half, 25, cut it in half again, that's 12. That's one extra deal a month if you only got a, an eighth of, of 50 people. Take it to 100 or 200 people that have your savvy card on their phone, and it gets kind of crazy if you interact, connect, you know, farm your database, connect with them, Socialize with them on social media. I mean, there's just so many, there's just, just no way on planet Earth that you can't have more referrals coming in from using this service that's 100% for you. Crazy. It is wild. It is absolutely. It is wild. wild. Yes. And you just make it part of your you just make it part of your uh, social media platform. You know, you put on your email signature, you post it out there um, on you can put it on your website. 
uh, there's a lot of different ways that you know that you can you can just make it available. Man, I sp I spend a lot of time just sitting down. Uh, you can email it out to all of your people, but man, I'll sit down and just put it on people's phones, like on a right, constant basis. Right, right. Like just take, take me, three that's minutes the, and do it. Yeah, share it with yeah, them. Yeah, make it part then, of your yeah. Yep. That's it. Make it part correct. of your process. Whether it's you're listening, you're listing a you know, you're listing appointment. You're yep. at the closing table after you close the transaction, or when you have the the, the sales contract signed. Figure out right. where it works good for you at, where you can put it on your client's phones. And yeah, you're going to have some people might say, well, what if they delete it? Okay, well, you just keep on. Not everyone's going to delete it. I have people. <laughs> I have. Focus on I have the people fans. say, oh yeah, I've got yeah, yeah. But man, more importantly, dude, you know what's really cool about Scott is when I'm I have a picture of myself on their phone. You know what I'm doing? I'm buying brain cells. Even if they're not Buy using me or referring point. me out, man, I'm buying brain cells, and I really like that aspect of it. Yeah, so, yeah. That's where that's where the, uh, the I recommend button is really nice, and this is what we're finding with real estate agents that we work with is that you know people are always asking real estate agents what roofer do you recommend, what what air conditioning guy do you recommend, and you know maybe after the sale they're home and they think ah you know it's nice to know my realtor, but I'm not going to need to communicate with them for a long time until I buy or sell this house, buy another house, so I'm not going to keep the card. But you have that recommend button populated with with you know, the AC guy, the roofer, all the people that they're going to need as homeowners, and now your car has become a resource. And it sticks around because they say, you know, hey, if my AC goes down, it would be nice to have my realtor's opinion of a good AC person. I could call them or whatever, but it sure beats trying to go on Angie's List or trying to go on, you know, do Google searches and see fake reviews and things like that. When you know you trust your realtor and you see who the recommendation is, that's just a path of least resistance uh, to make that call and get your AC fixed by someone that's been recommended by somebody you trust. And that's why they keep the card around. So it's important to right yeah. make, make your make your card a resource to people. And then you know if someone's sitting, it goes a step further than that. If they're sitting at lunch with their you know lady sitting at lunch with with her girlfriend, the girlfriend says, "Oh, my AC is on the fritz. Do you know anybody?" She says, "I don't. My AC has been working fine for years, but I'm sure I, I can let you know. I can send you my realtor savvy card because I'm sure they have a recommendation on there." And now you have to trust between you know the two friends, and she's sending over the savvy card, just texting it over. It takes. Her you know, 15 seconds to do, and all those referrals, everybody in the recommend button, in addition to the realtor, is traveling on a on a road of trust that's laid down by the you know by from one friend to the other. So it's it's really powerful. Right. Yeah. A couple great questions coming in. Does it work? Um, he heard Kenneth say yeah. iPhone. It works on a any phone, right? BlackBerry, Droid. It doesn't matter what any, it is. It's a website. Yeah. So, computer, Xbox. Yeah. You know, laptop, desktop, Xbox. You name it. In in the car gets you know internet. Browser, you can do it. To use them in your car. Yep. This is actually the. Some people are asking what it looks like in the link. The guys, this is the link. So it's savvycard.com forward slash Joe. Kenneth, what is yours? Uh, I think it's just uh, savvycard.com forward slash Kenneth Travis. I think is what it is. Let me look and see what it is. I have mine too, but oops, nope. All right. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, uh, my mortgage or something like that. I have yours. Let me just do it. I'm pulling page. it up now. Uh, Kenneth Dash Mortgage. There you go. There it is. So there's Kenneth right there. Um, so it's so whatever you put in, what you want it to be, that's the cool part. So here's call, text, email, find, profile, share, contact info, more, and then um, another one. Uh, yeah, if you scroll down, you can see. Yeah, you can see the second page of it. Uh, yeah. With the here's uh, here's mine. Yeah, sometimes I'll even post. Uh, Joe knows. Did I do good? <laughs> so this, this is one. the this is the website. So whatever you whatever you pick for a name, I, I don't know if you know this, Joe, but I got mine, man. When you guys first come out with this, I found it and I, I grabbed my name. So nice. that was pretty lucky. Yeah. Okay. And a lot of people, right. um, you know, if you've got folks that have websites that aren't don't look great on a mobile phone, they're not responsive, or they haven't you know haven't been able to invest in a giant website. So, you know, Savvy Card can be your website. It has everything. Absolutely. That, like, really the guts of a website is, it's right there, even yep. better. And what a lot of folks do if they have a, you know, they put the money into the website, but maybe they did it a few years ago and it's not responsive, you can actually put a little bit of code if you have someone who you know, knows kind of what they're doing with the website, they can put a little code in the hosting that says, if, if a mobile device requests my website, send them my savvy card instead. Let them see that because it looks a lot better on a mobile device instead of seeing my, you know, my website, which, which looks terrible on a mobile device. If they're coming from a desktop computer, pass them on through to the regular website. So just some options that are out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and somebody's asking how much is this and that. Dude, I, I don't even know how to say it, but it's 100% free. There's no catch. There's no upgrade. There's no sale. There's no nothing you can do, right, Joe? I mean, you work for Savvy Card. I, I don't know how else to say it. There's, no, there's nothing here. 
Yeah, I mean, we, 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 we do sell, uh, you know, the service of making your car look pretty, but you can do it yourself, too. It's, you know, if sure. you have Photoshop skills, and, and there's, a, there's actually a, a pretty easy-to-use guide on the, uh, on, the, on the site that will let you customize it yourself, but we also do that. Yeah, we make our money. Uh, we make our money by launching through real estate associations, and um, right really now we're in. The state, yeah. Yeah, and and we actually have built MLS search right into the card. So not only can you text folks your 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 mobile website business card, they can start searching the MLS right right on the spot there. So we you know we hope to be nationwide with MLS search uh, built into every savvy card um, soon. But right now we're in you know in, in Florida. Excellent. Excellent. Joe, All can, right. Can you cover so, that in a little bit more detail? So, is there is there a box for them to be able to feed their? So, if, is it just their listings, or is it all the listings in the MLS that, that people can it, share? It's people both. can access from the Savvy Card. Okay. Scott, if you've got a second, do you want to pull up Bonnie Strickland's card real quick? Absolutely. So absolutely. The, the, so, the future. Yep. So this is, dude, he showed me this last night, man. I just blew my lid here. Um, you in it? What? Uh, Bonnie Strickland. Yep. All right. Check this out, guys. If you're not paying attention, this is the time to pay attention. This is crazy stuff. Watch this, Kenneth. Can you maybe maximize your browser? Uh, uh, so maximize. Yes, sir. Or, you know, make, it a little, make it a little bigger. Yeah, so the list is that better. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's still, for me, it's still a little cut off on the bottom. It's not a big deal. It's still, okay. still get the, so, yeah, the, the listings button, um, there you go. That's perfect. I had a little delay. And then so she has her listings inside here. So those are her featured listings. Those are actually her listings. Click on any one of those and you can see what the property okay. card looks like. And you, right. you can see we've take, taken the, prop, the uh, Savvy Card system here and adjusted it. And these are all created automatically from the MLS. So you're basically getting an instant mobile website that you can text to people. These are created the automatically from the MLS? That's correct, yep. So, yeah, so, so, so just to be clear, I don't want to freak anybody out <laughs> or get anybody mad at me or upset with me. Or, can, or, or or Kenneth, this is this is only available in in a very small area in Florida. But he's working at going out in like I, I talked to him about Michigan and Florida and Texas. I mean, it's already in Florida in some parts, yep. but you're only in Florida think, right now, right? I think it's worth moving Florida for, but I'll leave that up to the individual people to decide. Yeah, but, uh, right, yeah. Right, right now right. we're in uh, Pinellas uh, Realtors Association, uh, Miami, and then we just uh, signed Fort Myers. And we're looking at we're talking to some national uh, MLS providers. You know, you know, Good. once we go down that Good. road, would be available to everybody pretty much right out of, right out of the gate. But That'll you can see awesome. there, you know, the, the photo button is great. Uh, you can just flip through photos of the uh, property, um, and you can on a phone you can swipe that. And uh, the find button is excellent. It gives you turn by turn directions with a little map to the property. So if you have an open house, you just put that on the uh, you know send that out to folks, and instead of having to worry about typing in the address, they can just map it right from their phone. Um, we're actually cool. going to be launching uh, short code keywords in the next uh, in the next two to three weeks. So you'll actually be able to put on your sign, you know, text Strickland one on your on your your hangers outside the house, and they'll be able to text it, and that savvy card will pop right back to their phone. Okay. And of so so just to be clear, the only thing that's available right now is the business card, which I don't wait on this guys. It's free. There's no charge for it. You're going to go there. They're yep. not going to ask you for any credit card verification. It's not. There's nothing. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to get you to log into it to sign up to sell you something later. There's nothing. There's nothing there. I'm just being brutally honest. Hope you don't do me wrong, Joe, on that. <laughs> nope, it's 100% free. Okay. And right. it is. You know, just just keep in mind, it is a one-way marketing tool. It doesn't matter right. if the person you're sending it to has heard anything about Savvy Card. It's not like Facebook, where it's only fun if all your friends are on. It, otherwise, you're on there alone. If you right. can receive a text, if you can receive a text, you can receive a Savvy Card. And interact with that savvy card, and and you know make that referral happen, even if the other person has never heard of savvy card. It's that easy to use. And I would encourage you just to simply text the people. Text everybody you know, man. Say, hey, just wanted to share this with you. Thought you'd like it. Let me know what you think. I mean, just to have fun. You'll probably get leads just doing that. I yeah, that we're finding that a lot because people who we make the property cards for. Just as an example, they actually end up saying, this is awesome, and sending it to all their friends, and the realtors are getting tons of leads from the homeowners sending it to their friends because they think it's cool. And the friends are like, oh, I didn't know what you saw in your house. My sister's looking. She'd love it. And then they text the card over to the sister because it's that right. easy, and then, then the lead comes into the real estate agent. So You know, the the t Tim brought up a great question, and I, and I have an answer. And maybe, Kenneth, you have another suggestion too. But Tim says, so you think after the transaction is done, you expect the client to keep this app on their phone. And if you build your app, and it's not easy, it's not hard to do, but when, when Joe and Kenneth said, 
if you put recommendations on there for home inspector, maybe a plumber, electrician, pool guy, lawn guy, everything you can think of of different referrals of people that you work with, they will keep it on there because they need that stuff the rest of their lives. And they know they can get it through you because you've vetted them and you know who they are and you trust them and you've done work with them. And as that changes, you, you just go to your website and change it and it's always up to date for your clients. And I would, I would, I would stress that. Hey, I'm always going to update my people that I recommend for different things. And if you have somebody that you recommend that did work for you that you were happy with, please give them to me so I can add them to my, to my recommend button. I'd agree, uh, uh, Scott, I'm, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be working on my recommend, recommend button here this week. I'm going to get that sucker built up real quick because that's kind yeah. of uh, that's something that I've uh, I've kind of let the ball drop a little bit on. But I'm definitely going to get that implemented pretty quick. Joe, I do got a question for you. If I share my savvy card, can they see all my recommendations just by me sharing yeah. the card, or do I have to actually recommend that person in order for them to see it? So the recommend button is a is is on your card. So as they're interacting with your card, right. if they click that recommend button, they're going to see your recommends, who you recommend. Oh, that's awesome! So absolutely, yeah, the whole the yeah. whole work yeah. travels together. Yeah. Wow. I think that's really. Uh, it's I think huge. That's, I think that's really. I think, I think that's the value right there. I think that, that is the really, value right there. That is yeah. because you, yeah. it's it's more yeah. than. I mean, you could put. I mean, you could put your title company. You could put anybody on there that you do business with on a regular basis. And have it come up on your recommend button and say, hey, if you need to contact this person, this and just like have who it is and have give it, have them sign up for a savvy card so it just goes right to it and they can share. I mean, it, it just does. So you're giving referrals to people, other people giving referrals to literally a vicious cycle, an awesome cycle actually. Um, so somebody yep. asked the question, can you show how to put this on your cell phone? So this is the iPhone. I don't know if it's different for the Droid um, or if there's any pictures anywhere, but when I open mine up. This little thing literally flies down out of the screen, out of the top of the screen, and says, "To save this savvy card to your iPhone, tap the icon below. Tap um, Add to Home Screen." And you guys know that when you tap that button, there's a bunch of different options: text, Add to Home Screen. I should take a picture of that as well, um, and I'll do that. So that's what happens. And then let me just show you. I'll take a picture of that and, and email that while we're talking. But um, that, it's it's that easy. So I'll, I'll show you the next picture. I'll email that to myself. Yeah, that little, right. little pop-up there, Joe, has been made it real easy uh, it for has. people when you're sending it out. I mean, it's just that that's when I've seen that, I'm like, man, this is this is it right here. This is the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. Be yep. good on that. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it's Savicar. Savicar is an adaptive system, so it actually knows what kind of phone you have, what kind of device you're on, and when you hit that save button, it tells you if you're on you know, if you're on the iPhone, just click the add home screen, hit hit save, and you're done. If you're on an Android, I think there's an extra button you have to click. If you're on a computer, it says add your add your bookmarks. What you're essentially doing is adding a, a bookmark to a website. And right. what's neat about that is you know, you've seen at the top of websites what's called the favicon, which is the, the little uh, icon that's at the top of the website. You might have the logo, the website, whatever. So we've made that a picture of you, and that's what actually gets saved on the, the home screen to the phone. So it almost looks like you have your own personal app, but it's not an app. It's a web app. So it's a neat way to, to have your own personal presence. And because it's not a, an app, it doesn't take up any memory on the phone. It's, it's not like, oh, I'm running out of space. I don't want this app on my phone. It's simply a link to a website, so there's, there's no memory taken up. Yeah, you guys don't get mad if we sell it as though it's our apps, though, right? Like, hey, i got to get that <laughs> iPhone app here. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you. You want to tell them how to um, – so, so let's go over, the, I think, you um, the class that you can get. The, I'm going to try and get this cl – Class CE approved, just so as many people can take advantage of this as possible. And we have a big group on the call today, so you guys are crazy if you don't get this. And you're also crazy if you don't um, tell every one of your people you work with that. To, I mean, uh, you, 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 I'm not. I mean, I just it, it's just crazy not to have this on your phone because you always you won't. I don't carry a card. It's just I got too tired of trying to remember to bring the card with me. Soccer games, basketball games. Uh, weekend events. I mean, I mean, you know, it's just it's crazy, right? I mean, you don't. Yeah. It's, it, it's impossible unless you are thinking about it all the time. So. Yeah, Scott. Let me say this, man. Okay, because this is real important. I think for people to hear, when the expression on their faces when they get it is priceless. Like, like when you when you tell like for for me when I show a realtor, hey, here's my contact information. This is how I want you to refer people out to me. And I and I grab their phone and I put it on there real fast and I show them. How to add? I mean, it's, and it pops up. I mean, it tells them what to do. But when I send it, and I send it from my phone, and when that, when it, when it's over, and it takes like all of sixty seconds, they look at me and like, I want one of those. 
that is exactly. really cool. Like, how did you do that? I could send credit, and then the same with clients. Our clients, our clients right. are exactly the same way. They're just, they look at me and they're like, "That's crazy! How did you do that?" You know, and I say, "Hey, man, it's magic." You know, it's magic. Travis, magic. But yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, it's it's just incredible, man. I just I just love the expression. I get excited about putting on people's phones just because. Right. You know, the here's what it looks like phone. when like so after you click that button, you click the bottom button. Here's all your options. So I can I can text you the. So like it goes from the one where it flies down off the top of the screen to the I can text it, mail it, Twitter it, Facebook it, Evernote it, or add bookmark, or add reading list, or add to home screen. On the iPhone, that's what it looks like. It's pretty much the same on the Droid, except for it's one more button. Um, and then the next one would be, let me just close this out. The next one would be, um, let me show you what it looks like. I, I, I did a picture of uh, Joe. And uh, so here's what it looks like on my phone. So you got the Joe's card and Kenneth's card. So that their yeah, faces show it. right up on my phone. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty crazy, okay. man. Pretty cool. Yeah. So let's go through how to um, set this up. I think this is the next couple slides, and then we'll uh, we'll call it quits. We're running out of time here. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds great. So on this one, um, I mean, it's really self-explanatory. You can kind of get lost in here. Not lost, but like have a lot of fun with it because there's a lot of options. You don't need anything to get this going, literally nothing. You can have it up and running within, what, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes? Yeah, easy. You can delegate yeah, it I'd out to somebody 15 else. Minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. So um, the background tab, just fill in your information. You literally go tab by tab by tab, and they put like these little drop-down arrows here. They're real easy to fill out. Um, so you know what, and I can, in fact, I can just go live with this. Um, let me just show you really quick, and Joe can maybe help us too. Uh, let's see, yeah. where is it? Joe, the biggest right question I have from a lot of my realtor partners is just the picture. Like they only, the, the, the only issue they ever have with setting it up is the picture, and that's that's really because okay. the rest of stuff just plug in your. I could just plug in your information, you know. Yep. Uh, but for some reason, they have a hard time getting the picture to to plug to upload correctly for whatever reason. Okay, so when you log in, you, this is probably, I don't know exactly, but you're going to see the background, which is this whole thing. And here's the crazy thing. Don't, don't go like, go, man, I can't have my card because I don't know how to do the background. Guys, there's literally 11 different pages, and there's four, eight, 12 times 11 different backgrounds to choose from. So, I mean, you can go. I picked the stone wall, and I just put my picture in it. I mean, we did a class on how to do this, and maybe we'll do it again later on on how to create your own background. But... Send it, send it to Fiverr, send it to the, you know, send it to Savvy Card, they'll do it for you. Fiverr will do it, they'll just tell them the dimensions of what it needs to be. And for five bucks on, on Fiverr, you can have it done for you. Or Savvy Card will do it for you as well. I don't know if Savvy Card did yours, Kenneth, or who, who did it, but. Yeah, Blake actually uh, did mine, yeah. There's the we couple did. backgrounds that tried the line, you know, so it's just, uh, and if you want help, here's the services that they provide. Premium design, 250. They'll build a design for you. Um, if you want a photo cut out, re, uh, retouch package, 30 bucks. So they'll make it so you can upload this photo and just be part of your part of your card there. So that that's the only sale. If you want that done again, you can have it that done anywhere. We're not. I'm not here to try and sell you anything. Um, and then the picture is the the one picture that's here. So choose a stock photo. There's literally a 12 times 11 different photos to choose from that you can choose to put in there and all you do is click on it and it puts it right here for you. I mean, it just throws it up in there. So if you want a chain in there, you I mean, whatever you want to put in there, it literally is done and you click save. It's that easy. I think you should put that chain in there for you, Scott. You think that you, you like the chain, man? Like I'm chained up? Yeah, it makes you look <laughs> tough, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'll, be, that'll be for your weekend card, Scott. That'll be for my weekend card? Yeah, there's different uh, <laughs> templates. Where's uh yeah so like like there's there's uh un, uh under the background there's different like here's Halloween if you want it so whatever you want to do there man it's it's go crazy with it it's pretty cool the buttons yeah. real easy here's your call button so you'd put it so it, it, like correct me if I'm wrong Joe but it doesn't show if you don't put a number in there is that right right yep so it's red so like I don't even have my recommend cut. so here's the recommend button. So I would just put in the name and the identity and then the euro. So if they had a savvy card, I'd put the savvy card in there, and that would be live. And then I'd add another and another and another and another and another. And then I just put click yes to show, and then that would show up on my uh, on my on my savvy card. All right. Text, email, find me, profile, organization, contact info, recommend. It gives you like what it what it's looking for there. Um, that's and then here's your icons for your icon button. Um, if you want to change how it looks, like Kenneth has his picture of him show up on his phone, um, that would be a great idea. 
so they see your face when they uh, when they click the button. You got your settings tab, which uh, gives you your name, where you got to pick a name, correct? Is that kind of how it works? Yep. All right. And then the marketing part, uh, here's your QR code. So here's my QR code. If you scan that, it would take you to my savvy card. It's generated automatically. You don't have to do anything. Um, signature generator, so create and download email signature. Is that what? Is that where you can create your own signature? Uh, you you want to explain that a little bit? Yeah, that, that's exactly what it is. It takes your icon and it puts your information and it generates a little picture that becomes that you can add to your, you know, whatever mail program you use. Add that as your signature uh, image, and then there's a little bit of code it gives you, and that will link directly to your savvy card. So now okay. every time you send an email out, people can directly link to your savvy card from from the email. So there, that would be it right there. So here'd be so yeah. it, gener it generates it for you. That's right. And then because okay. you don't have an icon okay. uploaded yet, had you up uploaded the icon. That's what you would do there where the Savvy Card logo is, yeah. And you've got okay, your cool. QR code built in there as well. Nice, nice. And then there's the link for it. So crazy, man. Awesome. Uh, let's see. And then there's uh, installing your signature. So here's, here's how to do it in different, depending on what you use, which is Outlook 2003. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's gonna... And then uh, do you need to publish, to, to publish it to make it go live? or? No, no. That's okay. uh, just that's automatically. Marketing stuff, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see if there's any questions. Answer questions. Um, how does Savvy Card? Oh, great question. How does Savvy Card make money? Um, so Savvy Card makes money by uh, we we sell to associations. They pay us a per realtor per month fee to make it available with MLS Search to all of their all of their agents, and then we sell upgrades. And the upgrades uh, it's just usually the same price. It's it's uh, three forty nine. Then we discount to two forty nine uh, for the customization. If you have multiple people, and I should mention this, if you have multiple people in the same organization, so say a brokerage you know, has 26 agents in it, the first card is the 249 because you're actually paying for literally for design time. It's not it's not paying for savvy card. And then additional cards are fifty dollars. And so, you know, if you have uh, you know if you have ten people in your organization, it's not ten times 249. It's one times 249, and then nine times fifty to do it. Okay. Uh, okay. Making, cool. Uh, cool. And that's using the same background. Um, you know. And then, let me re let me repeat that for anybody that wants that done. So so if you had ten people, you go together with ten people, it's two forty nine for the first one, and then fifty after that. With the same background, so it's with the same background. The okay, same cool. Because cool, cool, cool. there's less right. time involved if you're using the same background. Sure. Or essentially sure. at that point, just have to redo it. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and then we charge uh, nineteen dollars a month for the property card and the SEO. Um, so the property cards are what we had mentioned when we looked at Bonnie's properties. Those are automatically generated mobile websites for every property you list. If you're a buyer's agent, then you have the option of picking properties that you want to be your properties card. So if you say, you know, there's a new hot property that comes off the, you know, off the, off the MLS, and you think, ah, I've got buyers that are going to want that. This is a great property. I should be marketing it. Um, you can get a you can get a property savvy card generated for that property and, and, and use it as if it was your own listing. You know, we we it just has to have that. It has the uh, you know listing courtesy of the listing agent is. But every, all the other contact info on the card all comes back to the person who owns that, you know, who made that card. So even okay. if you're the buyer's agent, on, or you want to be the buyer's agent on it. Cool. Now, what if uh, here's a good question by Margaret, and I appreciate you asking that. So she has one, but it has her number in there in the link instead of a name. I don't know if it matters, but can can that be changed once they create one, or what what would be the best option for that? Yeah, I think the same place you changed. Uh, it's it's during the setup process that you can change that away from that number. To your, to okay. Your okay. All right. Cool. Um, okay. So John says, "What is it that I would type when sending a text to a client?" That's awesome. Great question. So let me just go back and show you. I'll go back and use Joe's, or uh, let's use this. Use. Uh, all right. So say that I wanted to share. Some, uh, this with somebody, okay? So I would click on the share. So I want to share my savvy card, my business card, with a realtor partner, so my realtor partner could share with their potential clients. Got it? So I click share, and I would either um, I would click this so that they would have every, all the information, but I would share by email, by share by text, share by QR code, or introduce. I'm not sure what this is. Um, want to explain that a little bit, Joe? Sure. So introduce is when uh, two people have savvy cards. And this is just a way, it's a convenience uh, tool so that instead of having to go to one person's savvy card and then text it and then go to the other person's savvy card and text it, 
um, and you know deal with the numbers and all that kind of stuff. You can just search for their name and then swap the savvy card. So she, that's a convenient tool for Beautiful. people who have, both have savvy cards. Um, so, if yeah, I, so, so if I put Kenneth in here, yep, we should be able to search it for his name. It would show me all the, everybody that had. Dude, that's awesome. I love that. Okay, cool. So instead of looking up their yeah. number, you just find out they have a savvy card and share it. Or um, so you're probably gonna. If, now you said by text, so. I'm going to share by text. I'm going to go phone number. I'm going to put, and all you have to put in is their phone number. Like if I put in right. your phone number and clicked the send text button, it would literally share my savvy card with you. That's uh, right. If and I want to put in the recipient's name, I can. But because you're logged in, that it auto puts in your name and email address. Okay. So you don't have to worry about okay. typing that. Okay. Cool. And even it's, on a phone, really, it looks exactly the same. So. Yeah, it's really just the same logic as as. as is handing a business card around. So if you had someone that you wanted to refer you, you would text them your savvy card, just like you would hand them a business card to give to that person. They would in turn then text the savvy card to their to their contact, just like they were to hand hand you a business card. Except it's more than a business card; it's a full website. You're basically dumping your full website in their lap. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, Kenneth, that's that crazy, man. Kenneth, dude, I, I appreciate you bringing this I to our attention, Kenneth. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, it's just that you know. Yeah, thanks to you, man. We're you know, like everybody on this call is going to have one today. So, uh, and there's a bunch. So, um, yeah, yeah. And you do have great. to create the habit of using it. It's going to take about 28 days to create that habit. But man, if you use it, I know, I know. Put it a reminder to start yeah. using it. That's the yeah. that's the hardest. But I'm telling you, when when you start using it and seeing how it affects your business, and yes. and, and then it, man, you get that feeling when you start having people refer it, and you see it, yes. and you get the notification that someone refers you. Man, there's you're like whoa. You know, it's working. Cool. Yeah, you get one yeah, notification, you're going to be sharing a lot more. Yeah. I just wanted to answer that question exactly. specifically. So when you when you make your base account, uh, sorry, this is about how to change away from the numbers um, that the uh, lady asked about a second ago. Sure. Um, so in account settings, in the top right is where you would change the first slash, and then in the settings tab is where you, you would change the second. So like I might have, um, you know, slash Joe, and then I might have, uh, if I was, you know, mortgage and real estate, I might have slash Joe slash mortgage. Slash Joe slash real estate again. You get a multiple. So we're like right here. Like I'm in. I'm in the settings tab. So I got the card name. That's. I, yep. I, I, I put it. So where would I change this one right here? Yes. Yeah, so that's when you. That's when you would. That won't change the Scotty. That'll change with the next. The next thing after the okay. uh, the slash. So, but if you go up to the the little um, round cog on the right, uh, by okay, your name right Scott. Yeah. Yeah. And click account settings. Okay. That's where you can change. And this is where you would have put in Scotty, and that's where you could change away from those numbers. Uh, username right here. It's the username. There it is, right there. Yeah. See that, Margo? So that's where. The, yep. So that's where. So that's where you would put in the, whatever you want your first username to be. Yep. Cool. Very cool, man. So settings is the first one, and then under my card, settings is the second one. So. And if you only have if you only have one card, you don't really need the second one. That's don't need the second one, right? Once yeah, I have it, can I delete it though? Can I just delete it? Uh, you should be able to get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and how you would do that is if you had a required. Uh, hmm, maybe because it's created once. Okay. All right. No big deal. But I, actually, I'd be. I bet if you put in savvycard.com slash Scotty, it'll still come up because that's. Oh, it does. It does. Yeah, it absolutely yeah. does. Yep. So that's just a technicality. Um, yep. But the idea there is, if you know, if you're, if you were, uh, you know, if you were Baker Realty, you could put in savvycard.com slash Baker Realty slash Jim slash Joe sure. slash Fred, and you could yep. have your whole team under one 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 umbrella. Absolutely, there. absolutely. Um, let's see. Whoops, I'm clicking on the wrong thing here. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Got that question? Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So the recording. So if you did not, for some reason, didn't get the whole recording. I, I would highly recommend to go to SavvyCard.com, get signed up, get your Savvy Card, and then get with a loan professional that's saying you here, your sponsor, to get a copy of the recording and the PowerPoint. Uh, it'll be up later today after we get it up under the the Agent Mastermind uh, replay. You just need the password. Just get with your sponsor, and we'll be more than happy to get you that link. Some uh, some people send it out automatically to the referral partner, so um, look for that to come. Does it work in Canada? Yeah, it works everywhere. Works because it's just a website. Well, Absolutely. the only thing it, it the, the card can be accessed. The only thing that doesn't work all over the world is the texting function, where you text the card from one okay. person to another. Because that, has to, but it does work in about twenty countries right now. So twenty countries. Um, okay. Yeah, and we actually Absolutely. add more countries by request. 
And Raquel, I mean, I, I, I guess the goal on this is to share with as many people as you possibly can to let them know. Because here's here's the way I look at this: is Kenneth came to me and said, Scott, dude, you gotta you gotta share this with the group. You're like you're, you're like I can't believe you're holding out on this. And so I said, all right. So my goal is to share it with you, so you go share it with somebody else. And so somebody, everybody that has one of these starts like and Kenneth. You hit it on the head. Make this a habit. Stop carrying your cards and start using your phone to share your business card and t take the extra. 30 seconds to 60 seconds to share with them how to get it on their phone so that they can benefit from it and tell them, hey, start using this as a habit. Like, make this a habit and share this with other people. The more people you share it with, the more referrals you're going to get because you're going to see the referrals come in and take the time to educate them on it. I'm telling you, that one little 60 second time you took could be a nice $3,500, $4,500 commission real soon on a new listing or a new buyer or whatever it is. So just just don't don't cheat yourself on this. And, and it makes you look clever. Hey, lenders, uh, Scott, I, yeah, I sit down and actually create these uh, cards for my, for my, so a lot of my realtor partners. I Absolutely. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Them. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, and then you know, builder partners, and financial them. planners, CPAs. Uh, I mean, electric. I mean, yeah, get, home get, inspectors. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, home everybody. I mean, why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how, here's a great question for Joe. How do I get search built into Savvy Card? How How does somebody show up on the first page of Google using the Savvy Card? Um, there is a, and I think it's in the marketing tab. Okay. So, so there's a couple things. Um, number one is make sure that your uh, your your URL has the keywords you wanna you wanna show up for. So okay. you know, if I was uh, you know if I was a home inspector, instead of maybe putting my name, I might put in savvycard.com/slash Tampa Home Inspector. That helps. And then you've got some different tags. You have options to do there. These are the, the typical tags that show up. Um, for a title tag, you want to shoot for about uh, 70 characters, and for a description tag, uh, I don't know if the description was there, then you can go up to about 150 characters or so. But that's the place where you enter those those tags, and then a lot of it's just engagement. So you know the site's already mobile friendly, which is important to Google. It already loads super fast, which is important to Google, um, and it has a high engagement level because uh, you know people are pressing the buttons on it and all that good stuff, which is important yeah. to Google. And then you got to you got to get it out there and get it used. So get it on your social media, get people looking at it, and those are, social signals are important to Google, and and that's how you basically get to rank. And be specific. You know, if you if you're in a major metropolitan area and you put in you know slash luxury real estate in New York, there's people out there that are paying five and ten thousand dollars a month to rank for luxury real estate in New York. So you have to find the you know pick some keywords you think that might be a little less competitive, um, and and go for those, and, and, okay. and you'll have a, a better chance of, of getting higher. All right. Let me correct what I said earlier. So I said um, I said it. Um, I, I accidentally said it's only available in Florida, but that's not true. It's uh, the uh, the IDX or the MLS portion of it is only available through Savvy Card in Florida, but the Savvy Card business card is available everywhere, and you can create as many links as you want inside here. So if you have an MLS search engine link that you want to add to it, uh, you, you can put it in one of many different places. And we, you know, if you have any questions, just call your loan professional. We can talk about it, but uh, or ask the question on the private Facebook page, and we can, you know, everybody can share their opinion there as well. That's been a great, great, great thing. Um, somebody said they registered for the card, but they didn't get the email. Does that take a little bit, or if you put in the wrong email, what what might he do? Like go in and what would be maybe request? Uh, yeah, uh, get, I mean, check your spam first. Check your spam. Yeah, um, definitely make sure check that, your spam. Yeah, yeah. It should be instant. It doesn't. It should be within minutes that you get that email. So I would. I would check your spam, and you know, if you think there's a chance you put up put in the wrong info, then maybe uh, uh, you know try to create another one with the correct info. If you're, if you're sure you did put in the right info and it, and it didn't show up, then um, you know, contact our, our tech support. We have a, a great tech support team that can help. Awesome. And so, would they just call or probably hit the um, help button right here? Hit the yep. help button on the website, yep. probably. If you go to yeah, okay, cool. And I, I do, uh, Joe, everybody's saying, come to Las Vegas, come to Colorado, come to, everybody's like, come on out, well, come on out. Here. You know, we are we are ready to do that, and we, you know, if you have inroads and you have good relationships with your local associations, um, you know, contact us. We're, we are traveling now to start to growing outside of Florida, and it's, it's a, it's a you know, it's a pretty good, it's, a, it's pretty, pretty much a no-brainer for associations. It's, they end up being a revenue um, you know, basically positive on it before no time because of the rub share component back to them. So, uh, you know, theoretically, uh, if they get we get decent engagement, it's actually a profit center for our association. So, sure. um, the other thing I didn't didn't mention is that we also uh, launched these for affiliates with associations as well. So, 
you might have seen on Bonnie's card, we have the Tampa Bay Home Directory, and so that's where all the affiliates are gathered together to form kind of a competitor to Angie's List, but all based under the trust of the association, um, and and that travels with every card as well. So it's a really powerful tool to you know to, to bring it back home to the association. You know, now instead of people giving their data to Zillow and turn sells it back to them and you know, sell that access, you can put the you know put all the, the stuff that you need in one tool that's in back in the hands of the realtor and they're the ultimate distribution network, you know, to get you the, to get you the leads for the for the, you know the different services that go around with home buying. So yeah, absolutely if you if you have inroads and think you can get us in with the association, just you know we're we're we we'll, we'll be there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks so much guys. I appreciate everybody. Kenneth man, dude, you uh you knocked it out of the park one more time, man. Just keep keep it coming. Whatever you got, you got ideas, man. Just stop holding out on me, dude. You waited way too long on this one. So uh <laughs> oh, way all too right, long. Man, all right. He was our first well, great job, education man. course with Savvy Card. He's a superstar. First yeah, first C E course with Edu so I'm gonna i I'm gonna take it if Kenneth doesn't care, uh, into Michigan, to Georgia, to Illinois, Florida. Um I'll get them approved everywhere. I got people in go. that'll work for me, so let's do it. And uh, hey, if you guys are wondering about the private group, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Uh, Joe, if you'd like, I'll, I'm more than happy to ha put you on the group there. Just to uh, if anybody has questions, you have answers. Uh, you know, I mean, you don't have to. It's great. It's an amazing group with over 10,400 people strong and growing. Um, we only let agents in and the members that are sponsors. That those are the only people that get in the group. So we we keep a really locked key on that place. Uh, it's a safe place. If you have a question, only the people inside the group see the question, so your your friends and family outside of Facebook don't see it. So if you have a question, please, please, please ask it. Don't be shy. There's no way. There's no stupid question in that group. So um, I appreciate everybody. Honor to anybody. I appreciate your friendship, and uh, look forward to many, many, many more successful years with you, brother. And uh, Joe, I can't thank you enough. Thanks for taking my call last night, man. I know it was late. I'm just, I just always try, man. I always try to get a hold of you. <laughs> so I appreciate that. And great job with what you're doing with, uh, with Savvy Card, man. You're helping a lot of people, man. I, I really appreciate that. And that's what this group's all about. So. Yeah, so are you, Scott. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Thanks so much. Thanks, Kenneth. Any, any final words, Kenneth? We'll see you guys. Say again? Any final words, man? Like download this app and get get busy, or what? Yeah. I mean, uh, implement, what? implement, baby, implement, implement, and create the <laughs> habit. Because when when you do that, man, you're going to see some things change. And uh, you know, this this this. I mean, believe it or not, man, this is really going to this going to help your family life. You know, because that's absolutely, the day, man. Uh, Family's what it's all about. So thanks so much. Uh, again, have a great day, everybody. Have a great rest of the week. We'll see you. Hey, uh, next week, safety course, Eric Sachs. Uh, going to be a good one. Don't miss it. It's not just for women. It's for men both. Uh, he, he's very, very well versed in this. He has a course that he teaches all the time. So um, hope to hope to see you there next week. Same time, same place on Agent Mastermind. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.